Hi everybody. Again, we're looking at today at some uh, Disney films you might not have heard of, some underappreciated classics, some hidden gems. I'm just going to go through uh, some quick ones I found out, and here's the very first one. Is uh, Condor Man, starring Michael Crawford and Oliver Reed. Uh, Michael Crawford, most famous for some mothers do have him and things like that. When I saw this as a kid, this was like I didn't really realise it was a bit of a sort of a pastiche and a bit of a parody of like action films, but it's really cool and it's one of the very first British guys that went over to America and he got this contract from Disney and I think this just went down the toilet but yeah Condor Man and check it out. This is one where you don't get really much macho street cred for liking this. He's a Got the classic uh, sexy sticker on there, perfect for Mother's Day. For some reason, I think I've probably said this in other videos, but it's, uh, for some reason I love horse racing films, and especially ones based on true stories. This is a uh, Secretariat, this horse that won the Triple Crown, and it was like amazingly fast. It was like the Daily Thompson of Horses, but Secretariat. <laughs> this is a really hidden Disney gem. It's like one of the first Disney films where it was like, quite a bit of CG and they were really sort of pushing the envelope and they were doing one of those sort of fake prehistoric documentaries where they sort of give the dinosaurs sort of human characteristics and things like that and I'm not even sure where this comes from because I can't remember buying it but it was at my dad's house but dinosaur, dinosaur check it out uh, I will. This is a, an interesting film because it's kind of almost reminds me of like White Fang or something like that. And I looked on IMDb and I almost thought Jeb from, I don't know if it's Jeb or Jed from uh, the thing. I thought he might have been the dog in it, but um, he wasn't. And he's got a better acting career than most humans. I'll have to try and link that somehow, but yeah, I am well. Fantasia 2000. This is a really forgotten film. Uh, Disney had this amazing idea of like every 10-15 years updating Fantasia with like new songs but keeping some of the older material and things like that and it would have been really cool if they do another one and like sort of uh, incorporate a couple of bits from this and that but Fantasia 2000, uh, camera on me and we bonus points if you get that reference. This is another, got another sexy sticker on there, this is uh, Saving Mr Banks perfect for Mother's Day and it's just uh, cool for a lot of reasons it's, it's almost like a prequel slash sequel to Mary Poppins and it's uh, one of the last Disney films where you see somebody smoking in it so respect you save you Mr Banks oh controversial this is a uh, song of the south uh, and this I've always heard like you know loads of things about this film that are always doing racist in kind of that kind of stuff anymore this is uh, the uh, political hot potatoes of the collection this is a true identity done in the uh, touchstone imprint of the uh, Disney family this is uh, Lenny Henry uh, my claim to famous that Lenny Henry kissed me once on the forehead uh, he said I love this guy filming uh, Summit in Stoke on Trent um, I've probably told the story a million times, so I'll dine out on that one eventually. But yes, it's Lenny Henry when he uh, whites up and he has to go on the run in summer to Condor Man. I think he had like a three or four pitch deal with Disney and then it all went to hell. But true identity, this is my guide to cruciality. And just to show them not some old fuddy duddy stuck in my ways, here's the finest hours proving that the Disney can still make films like The Black Hole where they just completely disappear um, I normally don't care if a film makes money or not unless um, you know, it means the directors or stars can't work anymore but yeah apparently it lost a ton of money but it's a really good film based on a true story uh, Chris Pine's in there whose dad was in uh, Chips and unfortunately uh, it loses brownie points because nobody smokes although it's set in the 50s oh yeah really? The finest hours and here's the very last one um, Disney's The Black Cauldron this is from Movie Time Video and um, this is like really in the same ballpark as like Tron and The Black Hole and all those kind of things and uh, yeah it's like one of those forgotten sort of films 
Burgess Meredith, Burgess Meredith does a voice in it and it's like one of those got classic really scary for the kids and stuff and uh, you, you only see it now on like Sky Movies Disney at like 1am in the morning but the black all round and uh, check it out see you next time I'm just going to have another go on this see you later keep it locked